to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free Over five years now, we've been traveling and living full-time in various RVs. We've not only lived the life experiencing the different RV build qualities, we've also been living amongst others doing the same, sharing their stories and experiences. We've also attended numerous RV shows across the country and can instantly recognize quality or lack thereof many times as soon as we step into an RV. In fact, it was the Hershey RV Show in September of 2021 when we first walked into a Gretsch RV luxury Class B van and was instantly impressed. The more we researched the brand, the more impressed we became. We could tell this company took enormous pride in their craftsmanship, which is extremely rare in this industry. After all, if you're going to put your name on your product, you should want it to be the best. That being said, Mr. Ed Gretsch, founder and CEO of Gretsch RV, has been a premier builder of luxury coaches for over 40 years and has brought that experience to the Class B motorhome market with the current Strata, Turismo, and Torino models built exclusively on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Gretsch RV has quickly become the premier and most sought after luxury camper van available. We reached out to Mr. Gretsch and Vice President A.J. Thurber to see if we could take a tour of their factory in Mexicali. We wanted to show our viewers and Gretsch RV owners how well these Class B motorhomes are built from start to finish. The manufacturing industry in Mexicali is diverse and covers various sectors including electronics, automotive heavy truck, aerospace, medical devices, and more. Mexicali's close proximity to major cities in Southern California and the rest of the Southern United States makes it easy to access the North American market. This has made it an ideal location for companies looking to establish production facilities close to the United States. This is uh, none other than Mr. Ed Gretsch. He's the founder and CEO of the company, and uh, A.J. Thurber, the vice president of the company. Ed, we understand you're no stranger to this industry. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no, I'm not. We've been uh, manufacturing for uh, 41 years now. I hate to admit that because it gives away my age. <laughs> but um, we get to do what we love and uh, build the best products uh, available to the industry. Excited to finally be able to host you and show you guys how the best built, highest quality Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Class BRV in the market is uh, put together here. So Very good. Let's well, do it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, you for having us. Welcome to the beginning stages of our sheet metal department. As you can see over here, here's our CNC lasers. We manufacture 21,000 parts a month out of this department to support our production. Here's uh, another CNC machine making different parts. They're making uh, brackets uh, that we need for our RV production. So this is our seat tracks for our Sprinter RVs. So this is uh, what's bolted to the floor and the seats attached to this. These are all pull tested and meet FMVSS requirements. Okay, these are uh, one of our uh, wood CNC machines. As you can see, they're cutting out all the patterns uh, to make the cabinets and beautiful interiors that go in our RVs. This is called a beam machine. 
Okay, and what this uh, machine does in particular, it uh, cuts out all our drawers, you know, our sliding drawers. But in particular, the main thing it does is it manufactures our curb doors. So all CNC operated. We uh, use birch plywood. All our laminates are glued to birch plywood, the most expensive plywood you can buy in the world, for that matter. And here's a finished product of uh, giving you an idea of what it does. So this started off as birch plywood, but it allows us to cut these grooves, which allows us to curb the doors. This is how we achieve the curb doors in the RVs. You know, one of our secrets to uh, developing a quiet and smooth ride inside the coach is the backing on all our overhead cabinets, the base of it is an aluminum base, okay? And what that does for us is oh, wow. when these cabinets are bolted to the factory braces, it's metal against metal instead of wood against metal because wood over time will work its way loose and uh, you know you start getting those creaks and groans. So one of our secrets to success of a quiet ride is this process right here. This is how we uh, kind of track all this uh, confusion, mass confusion, or I call it controlled confusion, but uh, this is how the wood shop uh, tracks, you know, what color interior, what type of interior, having a complete interior completed at the right time for just-in-time delivery to our production lines. Here's some of our finished cabinetry. Um, we've made quite a few advances uh, over the years. Uh, we used to install the cabinets and then install the sinks and the stoves and everything in the van. Now it goes over as a full assembly and they just drop it in the van and makes uh, a better quality control system. This is where they do uh, final inspection and quality control of the cabinets before they're shipped over to the production lines to make sure everything's perfect. This is uh, the beginning process of our upholstery shop. Uh, once again, all CNC operated machines. As you can see, it's they're cutting out the various patterns we need to sew a cover together for whatever seat cover we're making or, or whatever part we're making. This is our latest piece of equipment. It's called the uh, edge banding machine. Uh, right now we are uh, hand finishing the edges, but with this machine, it will allow us to put the veneer right on the edges, as you can see here. We simply run it through it like this, and when it comes out the other end, uh, the edge banding's on it. I want to introduce you to the team that uh, makes this whole department work from uh, sheet metal shop to wood shop to upholstery. Meet the Gretsch Motors team. So this is the beginning of our production line. This is where all of the chassis, our sprinter vans, enter the production line coming into the building. And this is the beginning of our process. So what you'll see here, we have these templates, one that goes up on the roof that tells our team exactly where to cut all the holes in the roof and where to drill all the holes in the floor. For an example, back here for our seat anchors and things like that. So as we move forward in the production process, you'll start to see all that coming together. But the purpose of this is for quality control and consistency, of course, to make sure there's no mistakes made. Next to us here, we'll go into the Kelderman air suspension as everything with the dual rear wheel, as you guys know, has standard Kelderman air suspension. This doesn't allow for any mistakes. No mistakes. Know. Again, quality is built in to every single process. Every single procedure is a quality control method. So every station has its own quality control checklist, mm -hmm. and everything we do throughout the production process is focused on that quality and consistency. This is the next stage of our production process. What you see here is we're installing all of our seat belt anchors. First of all, all of our seat belts that we install and all of our seating that we install is going to be pull tested to FMBSS standards and coming out of the transportation side of our business with building luxury shuttle buses that have to meet FMBSS standards and also go through DOT inspections, we carry a lot of that over to the RVs. So everything we install here you see is going to be steel plates 
and there's also anchors underneath. When you look up top here, you'll see everything we install for the bracing is gonna be steel as well. We're not using any wood in the construction there. We try to use as little bit of wood as possible. The only wood you'll find in our units is in fact our custom made cabinetry that we make in house. So all the steel structure that you see here in the bracing is gonna be where your vent fan is installed, your air conditioning is installed, and also the bracing for our cabinets that hang overhead. So what is this mess? <laughs> <laughs> so the next stage in our production process here, you'll see all the wiring being installed. First of all, all of our wiring harnesses are a custom built, purpose built wiring harness that's all color coded for every single unit we manufacture, both on our buses and the RVs. So very easy for long term maintenance and, and warranty work down the road. But everything that we install here, you'll see goes through wire loom. It's very securely fastened. These aren't just going to be, at the end of the process, loose wires floating about. You'll see how beautiful the installation is here. This is the beginning stage of our insulation as well. Everything we do on the interior is going to be fully insulated. Every sidewall, even the front cab, the ceiling at the end of our water test, everything we add insulation to. This is the beginning of the process and we'll show you what it looks like as we go through. Well, we're very excited about this new project. So this is one of our new luxury shuttle bus. This is a prototype of a new Freightliner built on the Freightliner S2. And uh, this has got some very unique side luggage doors that are all uh, pneumatic doors and you'll be able to store luggage underneath. But more importantly, this platform that we're producing right now is gonna lend itself to the future growth of the company with a super seat. You'll see these very unique doors. Uh, first of all, they're all one piece. All of the vans come from Mercedes-Benz in the factory colors from Mercedes. The only things we paint are going to be the moldings that you see here. Uh, these come from Mercedes-Benz and what they call paintable side moldings. So they're kind of like a rough white when they come in. And then we also paint our fiberglass body that you'll see all around the vehicle. So those are the only two things we really paint other than our air conditioning cover. But on these paintable side moldings, you'll see, you know, there's a lot of orange peel and waviness in them even after you paint them no matter how great of a job you do with the painting. So one of our signature designs and that part of our trade dress is that stainless steel that goes down those yeah, sides. Very nice. Which yeah. is very nice. You'll also see here our stainless steel utility center. And that cover there isn't one of the Mercedes-Benz factory moldings, even though it appears to be. That's a custom fiberglass piece that we have designed for our patented stainless steel utility center there. Switching over to the new spark plug here, going forward. So again, quality is built into every single production workstation and everything we do here. So what you see here is our factory work order, our production work order. Not a single work order goes to the production line with our, without our signature on it. But more importantly, every single station has its own quality control manager. It's a process engineer that's in charge of verifying everything at every single workstation before it's allowed to advance to the next production workstation. So this traveler is very important. Once the vehicle completes here in Mexicali, this traveler goes up to our QC team in Riverside for further verification. So next stage here is where we're gonna be installing our flooring. And uh, you have two different three quarter inch layers of flooring. The first layer is a three quarter inch layer of firm composite foam board. And then on top of that, you have another three quarter inch layer of honeycomb composite material, which is very firm. Then the top is another vinyl woven flooring that's waterproof. Water's not going to penetrate this vinyl woven flooring. So at the end you have for weather insulation, sound insulation, and durability, um, an amazing floor system here. Yeah. And it's yeah. all cut to one shape for the full length of every single floor plan. All one piece. All oh. one piece. Oh, here we go. Michelle's favorite. <laughs> the bathroom. These stalls are basically one piece. They're coming a two piece, but then they're fiberglass seamed on the back side. So you don't, you're not going to get any leaks. So one addition that Gretsch does is puts a window in the bathroom, which is very nice. We don't use it very often, <laughs> but it's nice. It's nice to have that little bit of daylight in there when you want to in the morning when you don't want to 
turn the light on, you can put the shade down and mm -hmm. you still get a little bit of light coming in on the edges, but yeah. it's a nice touch, right. very nice touch. So right here is the Lithionics batteries, the lithium ion batteries. They used to have four, but then they went to the two. It has the exact same uh, amp hours, the 1260 amp hours as it did with the four. One thing you're gonna notice what Gretsch does, they put stainless steel everywhere. You're gonna see it here in a little bit underneath the coach as well, and especially outside. You're not gonna have any metal rusting or deteriorating over time. They want their product to last a long time. This is uh, one of our ceiling panels, so again, everywhere on the interior we really go out of our way to make sure we're not using any light plywood and things like that. Again, the only part of our interior that's going to be wood is our custom-made cabinetry. But this is one of our ceiling panels. This is a one-quarter inch honeycomb composite fiberglass material. Oh, wow. Again, cut to the length of the entire ceiling per model. And as you can see, is a custom template as well to fit mm -hmm. every different model. So we take that and then we layer that with our roof liner on top of that nice high-end vinyl just like on our seating. So this material that you're using is that similar to the flooring as well? It's identical it's yeah. simply a quarter inch versus three quarter inch on the floor. Okay very good. And that's also what's made up our lower side walls as well mm -hmm. okay in the interior of the units so it's going to be insulating of course not only for weather but also for noise. Right. This is something that's very unique so for everything we produce we have an inline in the middle of the production line rain machine that's a complete water check system and what we do is you know you can see there's an employee in there right now oh, okay and every single unit will be in the rain machine for two hours before we install the complete interior so before that ceiling panel goes in I just showed you guys and any insulation in the ceiling any area that could produce a water leak is not covered yet because we want to make sure there's no water leaks before we install the entire interior so it goes in the rain machine for two to two and a half hours to identify any potential leaks after we install all the components on the roof. So your solar panels, your antennas, your roof vents, your air conditioning system, your awning, everything's installed before it goes in here, and then we'll complete the rest of the interior installation. What happens to all the water that runs off? Well, this is um, a recycled water system uh -huh. that we've uh, manufactured in-house. So we have holding tanks over here off to the side and a filtration system. So all the water is recycled. Through. So it sits here for, you say, two hours or three? Two to two and a half hours. The way this rain machine's designed also, the water is hitting it at an angle too to test those side windows also. The next stage here is the insulation. Uh, they put insulation in every little nook and cranny that you can possibly think of. You got it in the door, the back doors here. And uh, one interesting fact that you may not know about is Mercedes does not insulate at all the front cab and they stick the insulation up in the front cab area as well. So it's very, very well insulated. This is where they're starting to put in some of the sidewalls and the cabinets. On the sidewalls, they use that material the same as they do on the floor. It's that honeycomb, very strong. It's got some soundproof to it, but a little bit of extra insulation. This is kind of neat, yeah. looking at the whole process. Each stage. Each stage, and uh, the precision of right. everything. And the quality quality, the extra steps they take, mm -hmm. very, very nice. Wanted to get up in here and just kind of take a look at, uh, at everything here. I love how organized they are with, uh, Michelle and I love organization. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about that. Love how neat the wiring is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I keep thinking of like when we had the Airstream and we took the bench off. I had to replace oh. the uh, inverter back then. And wiring is just like, yeah. it looked like a, a like cobweb. A rat's <laughs> nest. <laughs> the nice thing about having this, uh, the real wood and then laminating it instead of having a, you know, a stain or a paint, anything right. like that, is you can wipe it off. It doesn't get stains and, and nicks near as easy, just more durable. Mm -hmm. And then on the edges of the, we're gonna see that here in a little bit, like on the edges of the of corners here, they don't leave that open. They put a metal strip along that so you'd never get that, you know, delaminating from the edges, peeling back. And 
and uh, this is the finished product. This is uh, just like our model. End of the line. The end of the line here. This is that metal piece I was talking about. They put this metal cap on the end of your woodwork instead of, uh, you know, a lot of RVs have those like plastic inserts that go over the edges and you'll, I'm sure you've seen it before uh, where they're popping out or just, you know, starting to peel and you have to glue them back or whatever. That's not going to happen here and you're not going to get the edges uh, peeling because you have a metal strip that wraps all the way around. It actually looks a lot nicer as well, mm -hmm. but um, I'm telling you, <laughs> they take every little step to make sure everything is a step above, mm -hmm. you know, the competition. And they don't want things coming back. They want as, as less units coming back for problems as they can. The, uh, Mr. Gretsch takes very, uh, a lot of pride in putting uh, his name on these products. So now we're going to look at the undercarriage of the, uh, of the vans here and everything that they use underneath that they add to them, they're adding the stainless steel. So it's, they're looking for longevity here. They're not cheaping out on anything that uh, you can't really see unless you get underneath it. We'll have AJ point out some of these things right here. Everything we add to the undercarriage of our vehicles is going to be stainless steel. As an example here, you have these fiberglass skirt brackets here. These stainless steel components are all cut in-house and formed in-house on our stainless steel laser cutter. Again, this fiberglass body kit is going to be attached not only there, but also up here. So added structure there. This fiberglass body kit, by the way, is structurally rigid fiberglass. It has a core matted material in it. This isn't your, you know, flimsy, um, thin ABS plastic you'll see on some other builds. Underneath here, you'll see those seatbelt anchors that we saw earlier. On the interior of the vehicle, these seatbelt anchors, again, all stainless steel. Even on this side, where you see our power outlets, this is a custom piece of stainless steel that we cut and form in-house. And, of course, since we're here, point out again that Kelderman air suspension system that we all love the ride and handling of. Superior comfort and ride handling with this Kelderman air suspension come up under here, start to see some more. Over here you have your power retractable hose reel. This here is your Timberline diesel fuel fire heat system. So that's going to be what powers that Timberline furnace on the interior and your continuous flow tankless hot water heater. You'll see our plumbing here again. All this installation is stainless steel. Coming up a little bit further, You'll see our freshwater tank and our gray water tank. Again, everything we use to mount these, again, all stainless steel. Of course, these are thermostatically controlled heat blankets mm -hmm. on each. And then this is your entry step to the rear. So this is going to be your house entry step. You'll see the extensive stainless steel brackets that we manufacture mm -hmm. here. That's built a lot sturdier than the ones I've seen and then even your running board step for the passenger and driver side as well. Same application of stainless steel. Look at the attention to detail under there and the quality of that construction. We put just as much effort in the undercarriage as we do the interior. Here's one of their newer floor plans. Actually, everything's kind of the same except for the back seats here. It was in the, what was it, Turismo? Mm -hmm. And now they've done it in here in this Torino. And that's the back bench seats, two on each side. Something else they added. This is something new that we didn't even know about. They have a shelf up here that's going to go on uh, all the models we're hearing, except for the one that has the TV up here. I can't except think of the lounge. The lounge model mm -hmm. that has the TV up here. Right. But this gives you a lot of extra storage. You got all this space up there. And this isn't really where you're standing anyway, oh. so you're gonna, you know, you're gonna duck to come out of there. I think I'd rather have the storage, wouldn't you? And uh, look at how beefy this is. <laughs> I mean that's not moving. How'd you do that again? <laughs> it is, is strong. Awesome. I mean <laughs> Ed was telling us, he said, you can do uh, pull-ups on that. He's not kidding. <laughs> if you're really wanting this, it looks like it's a very easy install. You can uh, pretty much install this yourself. You got one piece here 
and you got a couple brackets to go down in here. You got one that ties into this screw from that, one over there, you got a bracket over there. And then you get all of this storage. And then one other addition back here where the bench seats are, these added blue accent lights back here. This is a, a painting I had commissioned on aluminum. Um, and this is obviously uh, me flying uh, my plane down here. But in this case, I have uh, uh, someone attacking me, shooting bullets at me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of dodging the bullets, which I do every day, by the way. Thanks again for inviting us down. You're welcome. Yes, You're welcome. Thank you. I hope uh, you enjoyed the tour through uh, Gretsch RV. Absolutely. We already knew the quality, but there are so many things that we didn't know about. Just solidifies the way we feel about your product. Mm -hmm. It's top well, notch. Quality. It shows up every, all the effort that goes in behind the scenes uh, quite a bit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah well, thanks did. for coming down and uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope your audience enjoys the tour. Thank you for being with us and going through the factory today. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Michelle. What a spectacular man and very meticulous with everything he touches, as it shows here in his office as well. If you want to learn more about Gretsch RV and the different luxury models they build, go to GretschRV.com and click on Models for a full detailed description of each model with photos. Now it's time to call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.